So, there was the bike garage sale this weekend on Saturday. And of course, the Sunday salvage sales, which just keeps being amazing. I'm gonna stop making videos about it because I don't wanna blow up my spot. There's a couple other guys there who are into old cool bikes and old cool bike parts. And really beat me to the punch on some stuff. You know, their piles are bigger than mine, better than mine. And one of them got a bike today. It was like a green Peugeot, not like a U08, like maybe an earlier one. Like the U8s are all white in like 70s. I mean, like an early one is green, had some box lining, but someone put some really nice cranks on it, some good bar end shifters, like a couple other upgrades. Like, oh, you know, they charge like 30 bucks for a bike and I missed it. There's a couple of nice road bikes there. I bought one of them and I'll show you that at the end of this video probably. And I almost bought the second one, but I left it. The, the guy who got the U8, he got the second one. Probably should have bought it. It was 8 speed, 105 stuff. I should have bought it. I just had some and I sold it for like 200 bucks. In good shape. This bike was in pretty good shape. I'm an idiot. I don't know. I don't want to buy two bikes. I picked the worst one. I don't know. I don't know. I just realized it's got a Uniglide cassette on it. I'm like, ugh. But it's the garage sale. I feel really broke. And I don't need anything. I don't want to pay top dollar for anything. Even this garage sale. It's like this person sells stuff for top dollar. But I went and I got a few things. I got this new old stock bag of Forte 10 poly teeth aluminum steel bearing pulleys in black. It's not super exciting except for it's impossible to find 10 tooth stuff anymore. There's only one set on all of eBay and it's only 15 bucks but it's in England so shipping's like 25 bucks. It's got the little spacery dudes, it's got little washers for shims to make it fit with whatever. I've got a really nice dirt ace derailleur at the dead pulley, so maybe this will make that cool. Or maybe I'll just sell it for parts. I don't know. Oh, I got a EVT sticker. I got this at Tomcats when I stopped by the other day to drop off a couple of bikes for see if you can sign sell them. I got one set of absolutely nothing special, no logo, pretty flat pedals. They look like they're takeoffs. They're five bucks. I think these are, you know, about eight or nine on eBay, so. Whatever, I wanted some pedals for some builds. They're minty, minty, minty. And the only other thing is I got a new old stock, nothing special, uh, Tongay professional headset. It's the, these are 15 bucks wholesale. You got QVP counts or whatever, probably 25 or 30 retail. Standard, I don't know, I got lots of used headsets, but you know, a brand new one in a box. I love brand new stuff for really clean, clean builds. The rest of this is some Goodwill stuff. I, I go to the bins too. I might mention that in videos and just buy random junk. I bought a whole bunch of magnets with uh, magnets with little cable hangers. I mean, I think these are like a couple bucks at the dollar store, but probably like 40 cents at the bins. Um, and I'll stick these all over metal junk and hang brand new brake pads and junk from them. It'll be great. I think I get a bike pump at the, at the bins too on uh, for Friday. Saturday? Saturday after this garage sale. But I'm going to give it to my park lady. She's nice. I work on her bike for free. Um, you know, she's a lady who like, cleans the park and does stuff. And she loves my dog and makes homemade jerky for her. And my dog loves her. And uh, she had a flat tire again. It's probably because her bike's been sitting since the naked bike ride. Which I tuned it up for that. So I'm going to give her a really nice, barely used pump I got from the bins. It probably cost me four or five bucks. Okay. Now for salvage sale. I got some stuff. You see it's not my truck, it's in my brand new 2004 Subaru Legacy Wagon. My stepdad gave it to me. He can't really drive anymore. He's up there in the 70s and having his health issues, so. They're gonna sell it, and I was like, ah, my car is a total piece of shit, and I really don't have any money, I don't like money. Um, so I decided to give it to me, and that was very nice. It's the only thing I've ever gotten in my life. For free, it's great. Um, so let's dig in to some of this salvage sales. I definitely think I got the most ever. I said that last time. This time might be even more true. One very boring, generic, not cool at all, just plain silver, cheap Taiwanese bar. I love this. This is what I want for every bike, especially like single speeds, fixed gears, just a nice generic -y riser bar to go on a road bike and make it feel roady and cool. I love them. You saw my garage for the last swap me video. I went got like 30 bars. It was bought bars and bars and bars. I got a modern Chinelli seat. It's got a couple of scuffs on the back, one little spot. 
messed up, but you know, this is Chinelli and it's cool. You know, Sunday Salvage Sale's two bucks a pound, man. You just grab everything. Would have grabbed twice as much as I could have. I grabbed some socks. They had a bunch of these sets of Bushwhacker gear up make trucks, but they're made by Castelli and they're my size. Oh, this is a double extra large. I thought they're all extra large. That's sick. Double extra large. Good. All socks feel too tight to me. These ones are just some blue. I don't know what that logo is supposed to be. They're like ankly socks. A little, the back of the ankle's a little taller. And they're for 41 to 43 shoes. I think I wear a 44, so it'll be a little tight. Maybe it'll be all right. Another set. Oh, this is a large extra large, so okay. One set smaller. And the bottom of a random bag, in with all their random clothes stuff, was a whole bucket full of these really cool community cycling center uh, bandanas with all sorts of cool little bike art, as is the style now, all the clutters and graffitis. So I grabbed one of these. I probably should have grabbed a couple. I mean, I'll grab a couple more next week. I have a pretty big bandana collection. I've got lots of community cycling center ones, a bunch of the city of Portland with bike maps on them ones. Like, pretty cool. Oh, well, also, after the Sunday salvage sales, I walked over to the bike farm and grabbed a few things and I threw them in this bag, so I guess I'll just show them now instead of later. Um, I was kind of looking around and didn't really see much. I was kind of looking for something special. Then I found a little bag of unprocessed uh, donations. That's exactly where I wanted to go. So here's a pretty clean 27.2 SR Leprod seat post. You know, these are real common in like the late 70s and most of the early mid 80s. Came in all the treks and a bunch of bikes. A nice dual part eco rear derailleur. It's a little dirty. That one bolt's a little rusty and it's missing a little, little plastic dust cap. But this is like the French, you know, uh, Saxe Hooray long cage touring derailleur. Super cool. This looks exactly like the one that I had on that big giant Trek touring bike that I sold recently. Um, I wonder if that guy stripped it to build all modern parts when donated all the old stuff to Bike Farm and I bought it right back. Bike Farm couldn't really figure out what was going on. Um, I also got the matching hurry shifters with the Eco. It was not a front derailleur. I got one other thing. Ah, here it is. Just a single. Tektro, I think they were these FL750s, single right-hand lever, which is hilarious, because I have a couple sets of these. I love these. I used to sell the crap out of my bike shop. And lately, I've gotten a couple of single lefts. So getting a single right, that's wonderful for me. Bike Farm um, really, you know, always has volunteers. They barely ever know anything about bikes and don't understand prices or how to look anything up. No one's ever shown anything. God, this thing's way over tightened and mangled, though. Hopefully I can loosen it up and reshape it a little make it work. Um, so I had to tell them what all these things were. I had to look them up and couldn't figure it out in their own computer. And ended up deciding to charge me used parts $5 a thing. And they're like debating on how much everything is. Like, oh, how about $5? And they're debating a little bit. And they're like, oh, how about $5? Then debating a little bit about $5. I'm like, yeah, $5 each for all these things is totally fine. Even though if this is Sunday Salvage Sale, it would have been like three bucks for all of it. Um, and then the BMX Museum guy who's always at Sunday Salvage Sale, who always watches my videos and comments on them on the last video every time I see him on Sunday, which is totally cool. He has some road bikes he wants me to help him with. I'm like, yeah, man. Um, he had a saddle. He's like, how much is this saddle? I'm like, I'm willing to bet it's $5. <laughs> and everyone laughed, and that was great. <laughs> Just like, they didn't seem like they're in on the joke until that point, so that was fun. What else did we get from the old Sunday Salvage Sales? One, you know, just cheap, ugly. One, just cheap, ugly Sun Tour, you know, stem mount shifters. These are great for really uprighty bikes and, you know, Schwinn style city bikes and cruiser bikes. And uh, they're not for me, they're for other people to use. I've tried to use these on a bike before too, so I don't have to reach the down tube. And the second I stood up on that bike to climb a hill, I just need it into the hardest gear. I don't use them anymore, but people like them. I always get them, put them on eBay, and get like 10 bucks for them. Found one set of pulleys. They're 11 tooth Shimano Narrow. I'm assuming these are 910 speed. They're nothing fancy, but they have the upper G pulley, which is a really nice guide pulley system to make your chain quieter. 
and they look brand new or very lightly used takeoff. I want them. They had a bunch of tubes. This is one I grabbed, brand new in the box. They brought out a ton of stuff for this one. There's boxes of cranks and boxes of um, tubes and cases of handlebars, tons of new stuff. A bunch of new tools, but nothing good. I found this really long, like recessed alloy brake nut, I think, with like a special little like, T25, I think, or T30 Torx wrench for it. It's cool, I don't know. At the last second, I found a few egg beater petters. Looks like the stainless ones. I feel like these are the ones that sell. Um, you know, I get some, and some people pay insane money for them. Some people like five bucks. But, you know, they're like a pound. It probably cost about two bucks a piece. Some other weird ones with a smaller head and a bigger platform. But they're stainless. I grabbed them. They had several more sets, but I'm like, oh, I'll get these two. I'll put them on eBay and see. This is just a Ziploc bag with, I believe, I hope, is... Yes, four with the hardware, complete, black, I'm thinking modern, oh, they're for Torx, I don't know. Um, some sort of replaceable cartridge holder brake pads. All the hardware and in black and all matching, I just have to slide new pads in and put them on something. It'll be sleek and slick and cool. I always like that. I found one, you know, nine-speed era. Shimano 105 brake. It's complete. It's got, you know, replaceable pad holders. It's black. It's not very scuffy. It's got the barrel adjuster. It needs a nut, but I always have a lot of those. 5501 front black brake. Why not? I think that 9-speed stuff is cool. This is uh, what appears to be some brand new pedals in the bag. And since they're brand new, I had to grab them. And I'll put them on a project. They have dumb toe cages and dumb toe straps. But they're really ninja in there, Tetris in there. Just some Welgo, brand new, whatevers. They're nice and flat on the top. They don't have a dumb little whip right here to stab your foot. Yeah, whatever. We'll put them on a bike. I mean, maybe not with the toe clips and straps. I don't know. They're new. I don't know. Ooh. There's a big giant bin of handlebars that about a dozen people barely dug through because they're all easy and they all tell me later like how'd you keep finding so much good stuff where i looked through that bin i'm like well not very hard here is a set of nice with the cool logo nitto handlebars i thought they were noodles at first but the noodles have a little little swoop back they are model 165s which i'm not familiar with but they're 42s i haven't checked them to make sure they're not bent or mangled or Weird, but it's hard to tell with Nitto because all Nitto bars are actually hand bent in their factory. It's not like Chinese robots, so none of their bars are ever actually perfectly on the spec. They're always a little bit wavy. Okay, so, so far this has been pretty reasonable. Oh! Yeah, boom. A little less reasonable. He weighed it. And then I asked him other questions, and I asked him if he remembered what it weighed. He's like, yeah, 25. And I thought he meant 25 pounds. It's definitely more than 25 pounds. But he's like, 25. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got the bike outside for 30 bucks. The one I'll show you in a minute. And he goes, okay, 55. So I think he meant 25 pounds, but he charged me $25. I think it probably should have been like $50. I don't know. Sometimes I, I get told it's 50 cents a pound. Sometimes I get told $2 a pound. Maybe they only charge me a buck a pound. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, some other guy grabbed this bit of brakes and dug through and I thought he pulled everything good out. But after he set it down, there was still this nice long reach front recessed nut Shimano 600 brake. It is missing all the hardware. I wonder if he stole it. So that's a bit of a bummer, but you know, someone's still going to want this to clean up their crusty one. So I grabbed it. I mean, even if I only get five or ten bucks for it, you know, cost me a buck, whatever. They did bring out their bin of French stuff. I'm trying to avoid French stuff, but I'm working on this PX10. So grab some stuff. I've been trying to convince myself to use these uglier French cranks with uh, with English pedal threads, but I wasn't sure. I kind of want to use the Stronglight 93s if I can find a nicer, smaller inner chain ring. 
And they have these Lyotard French Thready Petals. You can tell they're French Thread because they're really stubby little dudes. Not a lot of threads poking out. And they say Lyotards, they're cool. And they have the Christophe special, like, pretty old school, like, more 60s than 70s or 80s, like, toe clips. And they look like they're pretty large. And they even have Lapis leather straps in good condition. You know, I've sold a set of these for 40 or 50 bucks before. So, you know, they weigh a couple pounds. So four or five bucks. So if I want to go Frenchy, Frenchy, Frenchy on my PXE 10 e I sure can. I sure have snapped some old French spindles, though. It's broken right in half. Just standing up on a on a, on a fix gear, I think, on an old uh, 60s Breton I had as a fix gear that I loved. And standing on it and just snapped the pedal and just fell all the way down and just landed with my crotch right on top of that top tube real hard. Real hard. I also had several more sets of um, these old Frenchy Mayfac um, levers, which are... I already have a couple sets for, but they always have a ball broken off. I'll show you what I mean. I have a few sets. They always have one of the ball ends broken off. So you see this one's got the ball broken off. But I feel like it's usually the right one that has the ball broken off because the way they put the kickstands on, they'll fall over. So this one's got a nice right one. And it looks to me like these have 22 2 um, clamps for 22 2 bars, where a lot of them are actually an oversized, weird French size, almost road size. And I think that's all I have right now. So really, I want these clamps out of here and I want this right one. And instead of putting an FL 750, like I just showed you on my PX10, I think I'm going to put these dudes on there and keep it a little more Frenchy. That's kind of makes it more exciting and fun for me. It really does. Then, I, of course, I found a second set of them. And I think these also have the undersized things, and neither of the balls are broken. So I grabbed them. They're a little more dirty and crusty, and my PX10 is real crusty, so maybe I'll go with these because it's more crusty. Here's some more speed play, weird pedal, cleaty, titanium-y, clippy-any things. I grabbed them because they're there. Maybe I can get some money for these. I did grab one garbage freewheel. Because this is a one, two, three, four, five, six speed mega range freewheel. I think they stopped making these. I cannot find them anywhere. Can't find them on eBay, can't find them for any price. These retail for like 25 bucks. This looks brand new or maybe take off. There's no chain marks at all six speed mega range so I can actually uh, use like a wolf tooth and put this on an old road bike for somebody and make uh, make a functional road bike because that 34 tooth big giant top gear really means you can actually ride up some hills which is wonderful I used to I used to sell four or five of those a week at my shop I was always putting brand new Shimano freewheels on stuff especially the mega range things and longer derailers making bikes functional what is this? Oh, this is a whole bag of Mayfac bullshit that I was going to look at before I bought because I had no idea what's in it. So we might as well look at it right now. Looks like a couple sets of crusty racers. Parts, part sets. Basically of zero value. It looks like most of the hardware is stripped off. Here's four or five... Um, the brake shoe holders, these Mayfac ones are swaged and often squeal, so you often go through them and throw a bunch away if you try and use them. But it looks like there might be a whole bunch of hardware in here. Oh yeah, all kinds of brake holder bolts. Oh good, all the hardware. Oh, and some of it's really nice and crisp, some of it's really crusty. Oh, the brake bolts themselves, some hanger bits, one pinch bolt. So, okay, here's enough hardware to make one of these sets viable. Maybe I'll put it together and sell it, or maybe I'll save this for spares when I'm working on bikes that are missing a bolt or lost a brake pad. I don't know, when I had the shop and we were doing a lot of custom bikes, I was doing hard mount studs, like a candy boss, but up high for these Mayfax, so I didn't bolt on like a, like a regular road brake. I actually replaced this whole backing plate and they hard mounted right on like a like a canny and pivoted in so I take old Mayfax all the time and find the ones with the best bolts and save them for custom bikes nice as hardware and then I sand them all out and high polish them 
So for a while I had a ton of this stuff. I donated all the bike farm. It's still at bike farm in the big hardware store drawers I donated them to. I thought about rebuying it all, but why bother when I can get it all at Sunday salvage sales for way cheaper? Even the bike farm is very cheap. It's nice to it's worth going big around out if you know what you're looking for. And I got tubes and I got tubes and I got tubes. 26 1.5 with the uh with the uh, Schrader valve. I need these all the time. I have none. 27 one and a quarter with the Schrader valve. It's wonderful. Got a bunch of 700. All these bullshit um these bullshit specialized ones. 20 through 28. No way, dude. Like maybe 25s, maybe 28s. Here's a couple of brand new ones in the bag with like a uh, Continental since 1871 sticker. I want a cool Continental sticker. And I don't actually know what size these are. I think. I think for 28s. Presta valves. Totally cool. I've got several good sets of 28s recently. They'll be going on anything if I can find a way to fit. Another set of these speed play pedals. These ones are in red. The CCC was selling these for 30 bucks, so maybe I really will get 20 or 30 bucks for them on eBay. Another 27, one and three quarters tube, or 18 through 25. How does that work? Those aren't the same sizes at all. 27, one and a quarter is like a 32. 27, one and three quarters is like a 35 to 38. But this says 18 through 25. Bone trigger, get your shit together. <coughs> Another Bone Traeger, 700 one and three quarters tubes. Oh, and I grabbed them because they have cool red valve caps. That's always fun. I love it when tubes come with colored valve caps. Another 28, one of these Continentals. I grabbed this because um, these ARS saddles, I used to sell the crap. Oh, it's all, ew, it's all chewed up and it's sort of coming apart. This was a waste of money. I'm like, oh, it's brand new with the tag. It's but it's really old and kind of moth-ridden and it's literally like flaking off as I touch it. So this was a waste of two dollars. So sad. I found this in a bag. This is a set of Cane Creek bar end levers that look mostly exploded, but hopefully have all the parts. So these plug into the end of um, like time trial bars or like, you know, fixie bolt horns. You can break like this instead of using cross tops or whatever. So hopefully if all the parts are here, we'll see. <laughs> they can go back together and be usable. Got some time trial bikes. I put those on fixies sometimes. One cheapo no-name brand fixed gear cog. I'm scared of these because sometimes they strip the hubs out. This one's clearly been ridden a bunch. And if it would have caused the hub to strip out, they probably would have thrown it away instead of trying to save it. And it's like older and chrome, and I think maybe this would look cool for my Peugeot. I don't know. So I grabbed that. There's a bunch of cranks, and I'm surprised I didn't go more crank nuts. A bunch of guys grabbed good ones before me. I grabbed these dudes. They are scuffy. They are beater. They are beater. Rings are worn out. But they're 7,700 Durace. Um, it's a Durace 9 speed in 170s. I think for cheap, make it worth my while to grab them. Ooh, they even have all the Shimano chainring bolts. Ooh. But the pedal threads look fine. The tapers look fine. They're really, really light. I think someone will want these for a scuffy bike or a beater bike or, you know, good strip them and polish them and maybe nice AF. Ooh, I did find this, a single bar end. It is compatible with rear derailleur 7700 9 speed and rear derailleur 7400 8 speed. So it's Dura-Ace. Um, it's set on friction, so I don't know. I think they have it put in wrong. So I had to put on friction because it should be one, two, three, four. That's huge. So five and six and then up here. So usually that, that is the shift plates in upside down. So you're actually getting the clicks for like nine, eight, seven, six. Big giant dead spot where the down tube is because it's in upside down. And then you're feeling, you know, 
one, two, three, so you're missing, you know, four or five because it's in the wrong spot. It's pretty common, so hopefully I can flip the, the little plate it clicks to upside down and make the shifter work great. So I definitely have some nine speed stuff coming up. Um, and I have my eight speed Dura Ace bike I'm building. And I'm going to use the down tube shifter on like a Paul Thummy mount. I'm not sure it's going to work. If not, I will use this bar end shifter on the Paul Thummy mount and it will work. So that is sit tight, tight, tight. One bag looks like mostly complete or complete, complete SKF fender hardware. So little pinch bolts for little fender stays and all the racks and doodads and blah. I mean, these are like $15 now. So it's all there. I did grab another set of these Electra tow cages. The first set I got, I put them in the straps of maybe over 20 bucks for the set. Got it. Um, I have one more set with straps, but someone, someone else grabbed all the rest of the straps, which is a shame. And there's a few more of these sets, but I wish it would have had straps. Those are white. The straps are white. I thought about using my, my poop Joe, but now I got more old Frenchy stuff, so I don't have to. Set of uh, brand new tire levers, paid, or um, Park brand tire levers. Brand new in the box. I could not grab that. That weighs 25 cents worth. Another tube. 735 to 40 with the Presta. So, big boys. There that. Some brand new Forte uh, rim tape. Brand new in the box. Nothing special, but you know, I build bikes. I replace rim tapes. What I'm hoping is another complete set with, with replaceable pad holders. With hopefully all hardware and springs and all the bits and bobs. They're white. Was it KK, KT? I don't remember what exactly brand this was. It comes on something. But they're white, like cantilever brakes. They're white, but you know, I'll have the right build for them someday or I'll sell them. And if it's all complete and they're all in functional shape, it'd be tight tits. Ooh, I grabbed this bag. Very fun. Ziploc bag full of brand new sets of Cool Stop brake pads. So one, two, three pairs of Cool Stop thin line brake pads, like V-brake style. I love it. Every time I need something like this, I have to go to the store and pay retail. It's like 12 or 14 bucks. Like, that sucks. This is awesome. I love getting brand new consumable things that I'll actually use right away and be super stoked on. I grabbed this bag. It is a set of Tectro Quartz brake levers and a bunch of Jaguar housing and cables, I believe, are all new. A bunch of ferrules. Ooh, some recessed brake nuts. I had a set of these I got from Sunday Salvage Sale, I think, last time or the time before. And I put them up for like 25 bucks on eBay and I sat for like a couple months, but I think I just sold them literally like yesterday for 25 bucks. So here's another brand new set I'll save for something or I'll list. I love brand new housing. Not having to buy it. Especially brand new cables, not having to buy them. Yeah, brand new set of flat bar cables, brand new bunch of housing, brand new pack with a really deep nut for recess brakes, and a bunch of little chrome, oh, a short one for recess brakes, a bunch of ferrules, some cable tips, some black ferrules, some fours and fives. Wonderful. This is worth 20 or 30 bucks by itself. Probably the highlight of my day. And some others, like, people just be grabbing the stuff they think they want right then. I don't think thinking ahead. I got another bag of an inline barrel adjuster. I got like two of these last time too. Stocking up. I grabbed this because I think this is a bunch of cassette spacers. An cassette lock ring and a single Shimambo single speed um, 15 tooth cassette cogs. So it's not made ramped or pan, not to shift. And I think these will probably fill up an 8 to 10 speed cassette spacer so you can do a Turn a road wheel into a single speed wheel. Just space this out wherever you want it, put spacers on both sides, and booyah, you got a 130 or 135 space single speed wheel. Super cool, always worth having. Here's a set, uh, another set of Dior LX brakes. They look like they have brand new pads on them. Hopefully, they have all the hardware and stuff. And uh, another nice set of black brakes. Yeah, that these pads have never been ridden. They were put on these brakes and never used. It's got an avid hanger. 
Chrysler Straddle, a Shimano Straddle. I'm not seeing any hardware though. So no hardware. It's got pinch bolts. It's got the pinch bolts. So the only thing that's missing is the four bolts that hold it uh, down on the Candy Boss. Those are usually just M6. Sometimes they have a funny head or a washer or something. Um, Whatever, I save those all the time on rusty brakes I throw away if they have nice bolts. So hopefully I have four matches or I'll find some off something. Or I was going to really dig through their bolts today, but I forgot how much people in the way. It was kind of busy today. Another set of brake levers I grabbed. These are just uh, Kona brand. Cheapy, spring-loaded, two-finger... Possibly canty levers, maybe V brake levers. Uh, probably V brake lever. I usually measure. If it's like about an inch or less. It's usually canty from the, the pivot stud to like the cable head. If it's over an inch, it's usually um, V brake. But they're not scuffy at all, and they're matched. They have the barrel adjusters and all the hardware. Like it's cool to have flat bar brake levers. Here's a set of really early Dior four fingers. So they're very long. It's missing one barrel adjuster. I might have one, or maybe I have some matching ones I can put on um, to sell them. They're pretty nice condition, really. Not wrecked, not bent, barely scuffy. And I'll probably get 18 bucks for those. Another set of old Diacomp 183 BMXE mountain bikey brake levers, and some of these are worth money to old mountain bike guys, and some aren't. I mean, every time I've gotten a set of these, I put them up for. 18 to 22 and got it, or they've gone up to 70 or 80 bucks. I'm like, oh, I should really learn what die comp levers are cool and what aren't. And they look good on fixed gears, and they look good on mountain bikes. And in the little Frenchie bag, I got this. This is a top tube cable guides and a chainstay cable guide that all say hooray on them. So very Frenchy, very cool. I found some Dura Ace derailers. They are parts. They are mangled. This has the main tie bolt. This has the tie pinch bolt. It has the barrel adjuster. It's got a cage. I mean, just for parts, just for bolts, like alloy bolts. Someone's going to give me 10 or 20 bucks for this just for bolts. It's 7,800. I think that's 11 speed. No, that's 10 speed. But God, it's in kind of good shape other than this clearly being ovalized missing some bits. I got a Tiagra that had a couple of these Tiagras, but these are really worth like five bucks. I had a couple of Soras too. I didn't bother. I probably should have grabbed them all and put them on eBay. You know, I'll put this Tiagra up for 10 or 15. I'll get it eventually. It's short cage. It's silver gray. Well, I can say it for parts for my Tiagra build I'm doing, but no one cares about Tiagra. That stuff is cheaper and cheaper every day. I got this little stem. It's just some cheapy generic stem, but it's a 22-2 quill and it's real short. It's got the bolt-on faceplate and this will be great for some ugly little hybrid-y thing or some really teeny tiny bike. You know, put some black parts on and make it more, more upright-y. I don't know, I couldn't help myself. It was cute. Got a cup holder because it was brand new in the package with all the shims and stuff. I, Iberia. It's not for me, but you know, maybe somebody to swap me will want it or... Maybe my roommate will want it or something. Got a PW backlight, clip-on light. I think you can order brackets for these for just a few bucks from them. Maybe I have one. I don't know, it's cool and modern. It says Portland Design works right on it. I'm sure I have some. What is this? Oh, this is another bag of Dura Ace Derailleur. This is the first one I grabbed. This is Fence. Fancy. It's got cables and stuff. I think maybe this is DI2. Shimano 9070. Oh, weird derailleur, 9070. So I'm going to say DI2. It's maybe mangled or something. There it goes. Oh, yeah, this is like carbon fiber and it's cracked and stuff. But maybe for parts, people want the bolts. It's got. Set screws and pinch bolts, and that one's kind of rounded out. But... It's got a cable on it that says bad right on it. Oh, it's got the pulleys in the box and some other hardware. One of the pulleys is Asplode. Spacer. Another pulley. 
I don't know, man. Maybe someone needs some parts to their DI2 to erase stuff. Someone might just freak out because it's DI2 and pay 20 bucks for it either way. I'll put it up for 99 cents. So I'm going to start bidding more. Maybe someone just needs a screw. Found some more used headsets. I don't need any more headsets. I got plenty of used headsets. But it's cool. It's all chrome steel. Tange. Number 500, Japan. Whenever I'm looking at headsets, I check the Crown Race. The Crown Race is usually the first one to Brunel or get destroyed. So the Crown Race is good. It might be good. This one is missing the top nut for some reason, but I feel like I save good chrome top nuts because I always get headsets that have a mangled one from too many tool marks. Here's another one. It is shittier and older. It's a Tange Falcon made in Japan. It's all chrome steel. It's got a line on it. It looks old. It just looks more 60s than, you know, 70s or 80s or 90s to me. And I think it'll be more at home on a vintage bike, even though it's Japanese or whatnot. But it's all complete. Doesn't look too worn. Get to the bottom. I found one weird set of brakes that have these kind of weird, sort of matching, sort of weird barrel. They're black alloy barrel adjusters with, like, normal boring Tektro. Um... What do you even call these things? I don't know, jam nuts. And they're cool, and I have a set of brakes that are like mismatched barrel adjusters that I like that are modern Tektros. So I stole these for them. They'll make me like them better. Oh, one more derailleur. That's all asked for parts. It is a Dior real super long cage. Missing the inner cage. It's got one pulley, part of the hardware. God, keep stuff together. So who knows? But I will put it up for sale for parts for cheap. I mean, God, it looks brand new, other than missing the cage. Maybe someone stole the pulleys and the, and the hardware. I don't know. It's like no evidence anywhere other than that. So maybe somebody will want it. Upgrade theirs, or maybe they got a bent cage, or real stuffy, but the cage is nice. Oh, I found another uh, Shimano bottom bracket bearing. I found three last time, so now I have maybe maybe two sets for sealed cartridge bottom bracket. They're kind of small, maybe they're for a hub. I don't know, it's probably a waste of money and time. Stole a nice 105 barrel adjuster off a scuffy 105 brake that was missing everything else. Found a couple of campy uh, quick release skewers, the straight ones. Say Campagnolo right on them. And the rest of the skewers are missing, but here are these guys, and these guys are always rusty or ground to pieces. So I might want them just to replace them with some nice skewers. A couple of mismatched dust caps on the floor underneath stuff. Chrome plastic ones. This one's very much like a Dior, and this one I'm not sure, but I'm always getting bikes that missing dust caps. So. And then this weirdness. I was hoping to find the other side of this and never did. So this is probably useless. But this one's cool. First I thought it was a stem, but it's not. I think it's some sort of tubing blocks. You see it's kind of oval. So maybe for holding some oval tubes. Or pinching down on some oversized tubes. You can clamp it together and put it into a, a machine or put it into a vise to hack and cut. This one's real small, maybe it's like for bridges. I'm not sure what this is really for, but it's very much like frame builder blocks. So I really think I can use this to hold some tubes. Maybe some oversized fork blades or tandem chain stays clamped in there, like hacksaw or mitered on them. Definitely some fatter bridge material. I don't know. It's very weird. I got it anyways, and I got half of another one. It's like a weird V miter. Maybe I'll find the other half next time, because that's how this place kind of works. But this is it, man. This is my haul. Including this bike that I probably should have bought the other one of. I am a foil! Should have bought the other one just to trade him for that old crappy Peugeot Mixty so I could steal all the nicer upgraded, like, Avocet cranks and stuff from like the 70s, the like, gorgeous ones. I've been hot on my PX10. This is the score. It is quite the pile. I really underpaid again. It's a lot of stuff. Most will go into eBay, some will get thrown into my part stashes. 
So uh, let's check out this bike. So this is the big giant turd I bought um, for $30. It is a specialized, it's got a sticker. It's got a very weird paint job. It might be original or maybe it's a weird repaint. It's missing these decals. This little logo is filled. It's a road race bike. It is seven speed, 105. It's real dirty. I should have bought the other one just because it was so much cleaner. Real scruffy, but it's got everything. But it is like a Uniglide cassette, which sucks so, so, so bad. Always trying to watch out, make sure things are hyperglide or free wheels. This side of the rim's a little worn. Front's not bad. It's got specialized armadillo tires. I don't know how old they are, but they don't look very worn out. Um, seven speed shifters, kind of scruffy brake levers, little short SR stem. Trying to decide if I'm going to part it out or bike it. If it was a real cassette, I'd be way more likely to actually build a bike. And the back hub's got some wobbles. I'm probably just going to part it out. I don't know if it's really worth the time or the effort. I mean, I'll probably get 15 bucks for the shifters. Maybe I'll get 20 or 30 for the derailers. Maybe I'll get 20 brakes bucks for the brakes. Maybe, maybe, maybe a lot of things. Maybe sell the hubs. Maybe it's old tires. Should have bought the other bike. It was so, 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 so much nicer. They won 40 for it. It was being cheap. I have so much stuff. Who knows what I was thinking or why. What length are these cranks, bro? It'd be real cool if you were short. 170s. Got some old Redline BMX pedals on it. Not, that one's not dead. That one's not dead. Pedals are old enough that might actually be worth some money to some BMXy dudes. But uh, that's my video. I'll figure out what's gonna happen with this bike probably tonight, tomorrow. Look at this really ugly vomit color. It looks like the Harry Potter vomit flavored jelly bean. It's so gross. This paint's so gross. I don't know what I was thinking. But that's my video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll check with you guys later.